going to make coffee using the Pyrex percolator and uh, for my instructional purposes I found this video called This is Coffee to make a so I'm going to follow coffee, their recommendations. Your coffee maker must be clean, free from all remembrances of that last pot of coffee, ready to begin its work anew, fresh and really clean. Okay, I followed its first step of instructions. All of the coffee making components are now thoroughly cleaned. Water. Into a hundred thousand pots an hour, water flows in the coffee making process. Water. Too much or too little? Boiled first or later? Or not at all? For how long? And yet, there is only one correct way. Water, the first element, carefully measured, clean and cold. Three quarters of a measuring cup for each cup of coffee, then brought to a full boil. Now I'm going to add water to the percolator. And I couldn't find a Pyrex measuring cup, so I'm just going to use the marking on the coffee pot itself and uh, fill it up to the six cup line here. And I'll take the directions of the Coffee Brewing Institute and bring the pot to a full boil. Let's see here. Let's get, uh, let's get the right control here. We need right rear. And we'll turn it on high. So I'll now let the Pyrex percolator come to a full boil. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'll take a look at the next step in the coffee making process. Coffee, fresh. And again, questions. What grind? Percolator? Drip? Or fine? How much? Coffee, the second element. favorite blend, the proper grind for your coffee maker, one level CBI measure per cup. This, found in many homes, is the same as this, a Coffee Brewing Institute approved measure. So whether you use one or the other, the measurement will be the same, and it will be accurate. So, now it's time for coffee. I've got a one quarter of a cup measuring cup, which I think is equal to two of the CBI approved one eighth cup measuring cups. So, I'll now commence to fill the percolator up with Café du Monde coffee and chicory. I've now added three scoops of coffee, three of these quarter cups, because I've got six cups of water in the coffee pot, and according to the Coffee Brewing Institute, they recommend one one-eighth cup measure per cup of coffee. So the water is getting hot here, and in a few seconds, we're ready to begin the coffee brewing process. <laughs> over the coffee and the brewing process begins. The flame is lowered and, well, watch. The third element is time and it too must be measured accurately. The minutes counted. The flavor will emerge as the process continues. The taste of coffee heightens and increases until all that is good has been extracted. In this method of brewing, percolator, six to eight minutes over gentle heat, and then the liquid is coffee. With the water now boiling, it's time to insert the percolator stem and begin brewing coffee. So I'll insert this into the boiling water 
and lower the heat. Let's see here. I'll probably put this, let's see, I'll put it on low. And I'll put this on carefully, very carefully. And I'll set the timer for seven minutes. They recommended six to eight. And I'll put the lid on the coffee pot now. Okay, the seven minutes is now done. So the liquid should be coffee. I'll take this off the heat and pour myself a cup and see how it tastes. I'm now going to remove the percolator basket with a towel as it's very hot. And now I'll taste some of the coffee. Oh, spilled a little bit of it. The color looks good. Let's see what the taste is like. Taste is good, maybe a little bit strong, but uh, that's how I like it. it. Seems like the directions of the Coffee Brewing Institute resulted in a good cup of coffee.